Combining the best of daily fantasy and survivor pools, Stat Hero is the next chapter in fantasy sports. No more competing with the Sharks or experts ever, because your only competition is Stat Hero itself. The face of DFS has changed. Finally, a game designed for the rest of us. Hey, what's going on? Jeff Ratcliffe here. Week 14 fantasy football is upon us. It's the fantasy football playoffs in a lot of leagues out there. So now is more important than ever to exploit those good matchups and avoid those bad matchups in your lineup. So let's dive into an advanced look at wide receiver cornerback matchups for the week. We'll start with two upgrades for you here. And hey, you got to love those Lions wideouts. Sure, David Blau might be under center, but Kenny Galladay and Marvin Jones get an upgrade against the Minnesota Vikings secondary. You know, heading into this season, you would have thought this would have been a tough matchup in week 14. But lo and behold, 14 weeks later, it's an easy matchup. Xavier Rhodes was one of the better shadow corners that we've seen in recent seasons. This year, though, the Rhodes have been completely open against Xavier Rhodes. So far, he's allowing an 86% catch rate in his coverage so far. That is not good. Look for Galladay to be a wide receiver two play. And hey, Marvin Jones, maybe not the highest floor, but he still is a wide receiver three play in this matchup this week. All right, let's move on. Alshon Jeffrey got back on the field last week, and he put up some big numbers in a favorable matchup against Miami. He gets yet another favorable matchup this week on Monday night against the Giants. We know that Giants secondary has really struggled for a bulk of the season. Janoris Jenkins allowing 14.1 yards per catch in his coverage. And then on the other side, DeAndre Baker, he's allowed six receiving scores on the season. So Alshon should have no problem this week. Find a way to get him into your lineups. All right, let's go to the other side of the story, though, because there are some interesting downgrades this week. We'll start with perhaps one of the biggest surprises for fantasy purposes this season in DJ Chark. Hey, he's been awesome. There's no doubt about it. But the wheels are starting to come off there in Jacksonville. Nick Foles being benched last week. And hey, no issue with Gardner Minshew. The bigger issue here is the matchup for Chark. So he's going to very likely see a shadow from Casey Hayward this week. And Hayward has been awesome this season. He's grading out as the number five corner at PFF, seeing just 3.3 targets per game thrown into his coverage. Could be a very quiet day yet again this week for DJ Chark after last week's disappointing performance. The other downgrade we have this week is John Brown. And hey, it's not to knock John Brown. He's been awesome this season. What a great find there for the Buffalo Bills. He's been every bit of a wide receiver, too, for fantasy purposes all season long. But hey, Baltimore secondary is no joke. And especially that acquisition of Marcus Peters. Peters has been awesome for the Ravens since coming onto the team six weeks ago. He's allowing just 10.8 yards per catch. He's not going to shadow John Brown. It's not one of those situations, but there really isn't a good matchup to be had against that Ravens secondary. So you're downgrading Shark this week. You're downgrading Brown. If you get away with not starting either of them, not the worst move. Of course, you may not have that option. So at best, you're looking at both of them as fringe wide receiver two options. Of course, we have more than just four matchups for you over at PFF. Our wide receiver cornerback matchup chart breaks down every single starting wide receiver and starting corner for you so you know where the good matchups are, the bad matchups, and everywhere in between. In addition to that, rankings, projections, football data galore, NCAA, all of it. NFL mock drafts, you want football, we got football. That's over at pff.com. Thanks for watching the PFF YouTube channel. And if you want to subscribe, all you have to do is push the button. Don't forget everything you get. A little fantasy, push the button. A little green line for the gambling aspects of the game, push the button. College football, push the button. The YouTube channel from PFF.